Hi, my name is Ali Nathaniel from Playful Kitchen and today we're going to make soda bread or Irish bread. And Irish bread is a quick bread. And what I'm saying quick, what I mean by that is that it's not going to take a long time to make it and you don't have to wait for hours and hours like you do with yeast bread. When we're making quick breads like this, like this soda bread, uh, we usually using uh, leavening agents. Those leavening agents uh, could be either baking powder or baking soda or both. The way baking soda works is that when it, when it meets some kind of acid, there's going to be a reaction. And that reaction is going to form many, many, many tiny bubbles of carbon dioxide. Uh, which you can actually call it air bubbles and those air bubbles are going to expand the batter and it's going to rise. And buttermilk contains lactic acid. When it's going to meet the baking soda, there's going to be a reaction. Baking powder is basically some kind of acid, some kind of base and some kind of filter which is neutral and usually the base is going to be baking soda the acid is going to be cream of tartar and the filter could be uh, cornstarch for example and baking soda reacts with water because then the base and the acid are mixing together and there's a reaction and if we're talking about double action baking powder, it's going to re react again when it, it's going to meet the heat in the oven. And I want to uh, do some kind of experiment right now just to show you what happens when uh, the baking soda meets some kind of acid. And we're going to use vinegar. I have uh, apple vinegar here, but it doesn't matter. You can use any other kind of vinegar. And I'm going to pour it into the, the glass that I have here. I don't need too much. Um, and then what I'm going to do is take the baking soda and I'm going to pour it inside the glass. So when the baking soda and the vinegar are going to meet each other, there's going to be a reaction. How cool is that? So thousands of tiny air bubbles are forming when the baking soda meets the, the vinegar and that's exactly what's gonna happen inside the bread the air bubbles are gonna expand the batter and the bread is gonna rise after you mix all the wet ingredients and dry ingredients you don't need to knead it for too long and uh, the reason for that is first that you want to get a tender uh, bread and the other reason you don't want all the tiny air bubbles to escape uh, you have to make sure that they're, they're staying inside the batter and they're gonna expand the batter when it gets into the oven after kneading it just for a short time and just make sure that all the ingredients are uh, combined just put it inside a loaf pan. I want to show you uh, a nice trick. Uh, before you put the batter into the baking pan, you can either grease it a little bit or use a parchment paper. And I'm going to put it inside the loaf pan, just like that, um, just to make sure that the bottom is not going to stick. And it's, it's going to make it uh, easier to, to take it out, to unmold it. Ali Nathaniel from Playful Kitchen. Go bake!